Hey people, injured here, 3v3, Ben Dunlock, blue team, couple of tech marines we have, Inquisitor Lord, and we have Commissar Lag, in their usual resplendent pink, these guys fight with bolt guns by default, put out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair, up against, or rather alongside, maybe up against, secretly, is James Nunes with a Chaos Lord, a durable and destructive hero walking through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melee. Looks like the Thousand Suns elite scheme here that's been recolored into a different kind of blue, I guess. Red team, Unseen, is a force commander, very strong offense fighting in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. They are, oh, they're fighting against the heretical pink scouts over here. Alongside some Tyranids, two of those scouts dropped, you know. Jim Beam, with a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist can infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support, skulking around to the back lines, gets a flesh hook on the tech marine there, and rounding off the teams, their Todes Knop, which translates to the death button, which is always amusing to me, with a Hive Tyrant, a very durable hero, gives with objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful offense, disruption and support potentially, begins in melee combat with a basic synapse, I shall call you Ramirez. Kicking off towards the southeast here. Double former gaunts for Jim Beam, but they might not both get away. Are the heretics going to get away? The heretics do get away. I'm not sure about those former gaunts, though. The former gaunts didn't make it, even though they got into the synapse range of the hive current there. Ramirez getting stuck into. Oh, tried to get stuck into some heretics. Now goes to side the tech marine to death. Good kill the weak there from the Chaos Lord. Tactical Marines drop a model and get away. The Tech Marine maybe gets away. Yes, I think they got away. Lictor Alpha is still here. Special Attack does nothing to the Chaos Lord. Because he's a big fella. Crippling Poison is available. I think that's what that red debuff circle is, maybe. Or do you have something? Lictor Alpha has Adrenal Glands. Still got a red debuff circle. I'm not sure what that was. I don't think... Crippling Poison gives you a red debuff circle. There's no Psychic Scream, there's no debuffing Lictor Alpha weapon like Toxin Miasma or something. So, uh, who knows? Jim Beam did replace the Hormagons they lost. Heretics now have an aspiring champion, so they can spot sneaky Lictor Alphas and fight better in melee. The aspiring champion has a Chainsword and Bolt Pistol, knows how to use them. There's a Doom Blast. Onto their Todes Knops, former Gaunts, and they get away. Ramirez is still here though, and now has Rending Talons. Good melee DPS, and the Seismic Roar ability is pretty damn good too, with knockback and damage over time on demand, if you can get close enough, that is. One to one cap here. Can anyone cap the mid? This is the contested victory point. The naturals are pretty far natural, actually. See how close it is to the base. And uh, the powers, I think they're relatively easy to hit. Relatively. One to one cap here. Doesn't look like their Todes Knopf is going to leave the field anytime soon. He's nice and healthy still. Got some flame attacks here for Commissar Lag. In fact, Double flame attacks for Commissar Lag. They're roasting some tyrannies today. The Tech Marine also has a reader. Still got the red debuff circle on him. Chaos Lord still has it too. Oh, is it Stalk? Oh, it might be Stalk. Maybe they're using Stalk, the Lictor Alpha. I see. That reveals all of the enemy team's heroes and I think increases the damage they take or something. It's not often something I see or notice. But it's pretty cool. Dark Halo up for the Chaos Lord now. You can throw up a shield. There it is. Can he finish off the Hive Tyrant though? Because those Rending Talons are painful. I think he's still going to beat that Chaos Lord, you know. I think he is. Chaos Lord should be able to get away though unless he's sloppy and dies. Force Command's got a Power Sword. And Artificer Armor. Chaos Lord barely gets away. Oh, maybe not. He's gone back in with some Corn Worship. There's the Seismic Roar. Didn't knock back the Chaos Lord. But he's in that green crap taking some damage now. Not a huge amount. Does it tell me how much it does? I think it does. 
six DPS for ten seconds. It's only piercing DPS though. Good against the heretics and stuff. But heavy infantry, super heavy infantry, and commanders will shrug it off pretty easily. But every little bit of DPS helps, I suppose. Chaos Lord still in play. He needs to drop that shield so he can get some e energy back, but is wary of the termigants finishing him off like this. Does get away. Has the harness of rage now to aid in energy regeneration. Maybe we'll see some raptors alongside him to benefit from that. There's that crippling poison. It's a really powerful snare. I don't know what the percentage on it is, but it's, it's you can barely move when it's up. Oh, some scouts dying. Those were Commissar Lag scouts, and I think, I think they had shotguns. Is that pheromone? That is indeed the pheromone for the Lictor Alpha. Also have Toxin Miasma now, which does debuff stuff on hits. Also does damage over time. Reduces the speed and their damage output. It's a pretty awesome weapon, actually. Got Adrenal Glands as well. Force Command again stuck in with that Power Sword. Makes his battle cry better. Artificer just makes him tougher. Anything for the Inquisitor Lord? No. Commissar Lag is down to a single tactical marine squad, and they had two of them. Both with flamers. I'm not sure what Commissar said there. I saw just the end of that chat message. But they lost some squads, and they weren't happy about it, I think. Tier 2s for the tech marine players. Also Tier 2 for Unseen. Oh, Commissar, I think maybe their scout sergeant got flesh hooked or something. I don't think you're abusing the last die mechanics. That's just part of the game. If you can focus down the squad leader, you can kill the entire squad if they're a last if they're a die last squad leader. It can be a blessing and a curse. Tier two's all round now. That is not bannable stuff, Commissar Lag. Calm down, buddy. A very experienced player, Commissar. Been around for many years, but needs to calm down a bit. In this case, I think. Assuming that's what they did, flesh hook the scout sergeant. I I would not consider that at all a bannable offence, or even bad manners in general. 411 to 477 on the VPs. The Force Commander does get away. Level 3 has done some work, this guy. We'll see if the two Tech Marine players can recover. Although Jim Bean did not get anything out in Tier 1 aside from those Cormorants. So they might be a little bit behind as well. I guess they didn't spend either. They got actually got Tier 2 after everyone else though, Jim Bean. Maybe they built all the gens. They did get, yeah, they did get double adrenal glands and they fully kitted their Lictor Alpha out, I guess. So it's not that they didn't spend anything. Chaos Lord trying to keep that shield going with the Harness of Rage. Ramirez not happy with it. Trying to focus him down a bit. Might get a Seismic Roar, there it is, but can they get away? They cannot. The, the Chaos Lord was not knocked over. He laughs at Seismic Roars and just slayed him with his fancy Chaos Sword thing. Commissar thought about getting a razor back up. Deathrodes Knopf did get more Formagaunts going in tier 1. Dreadnought now for Commissar Lag. Lots of dead stuff over here. Many, many dead things. Have you got any more levels going on, Fat? Let's. Some level 3s and level 2s. Not seen anyone get onto the power. But they might have, through the mid, maybe. Scout. Sergeant, again, getting flesh hooked by Jim Beam. And then debuff, and then taken out by the swarm of Hormagaunts and a little help from Marines. Is that bad manners? I don't think it is. What are you meant to do? Leave the Scout Sergeant alone? The grim darkness of the far future, your Sergeant's going to get flesh hooked to hell. Tactical Marines of Commissar Lag on the power. With that flamer. Very efficient bash, but I need to be careful not to overextend. They are backing off as soon as they see those Hormagaunts here. Hasn't been much in the way of like stopping the Hormagaunt rush. There's no Mastercrafted Bolters, there's no Bionics. I guess they had shotgun scouts at some point. 
and that was their plan. Doom Blast and the Heretics flee the wall of flesh, teeth and claw, and chitinous substances. Dreadnought on the field now for Komasalaga. I guess this is the answer to all of those Hormagaunts. We do have Stern Guard veterans for Unseen, so they could load in their Vengeance rounds to shoot the Dreadnought, do some damage with that. Is that an auto cannon? Oh, it's a Dreadnought. It's a Chaos Dreadnought for James Nunes. I guess they lost their initial heretics along the way somewhere. Contested power attracting the attention of De Todes Knock with double Tyrant Guards here. It's like Hive Minion used to run double Tyrant Guards in Tier 2 and, and ride that into Tier 3. It was pretty awesome to see. These days, of course, the Hive Tyrant can call in a Tyrant Guard from the Global Bar. So maybe that's what they did. Called in one and, and produced the other. I wasn't watching the rosters, so I don't know. James Nunez gets some Chaos Space Marines up. Maybe looking for double a mark of Zinch to fight the double Tyrant Guards because they don't like those Inferno Bolters, those guys. That super heavy infantry of theirs will melt under Mark of Zinch CSM fire. Chaos Lord has Lightning Claws now. They attack very quickly, so great for Harness of Rage to build up the energy to in turn power the Dark Halo. This could be a problem, this Chaos Lord going forward. Yep, there's the other Mark of Zinch. 256 to 477 and Assault Cannon Dreadnought for Inquisitor Lord Commissar keeping theirs in melee going to be a big important fight here potentially we've got some Venom Brood up with the ranged Synapse helping out all those Termigants Crippling Poison on the Chaos Lord can they keep controlling this guy? Did they double Crippling Poison? Did the second one go in? I'm not sure Kicking off though, Chaos Lord's in there. Goes after the Venom Brood to help protect those allied Dreadnoughts and he's tearing through them with those Lightning Claws with the help of the Marco Zinc CSM of course and they wipe them out, you saw all those Synapse Backlashes. Ramirez falls over, no. Now the Tyrant Guard could be in trouble, they're very very slow when outside of Synapse range. They do have a Capillary Tower over there to help out their speed a bit maybe. Can they charge out? Chaos Lord goes after them. Just use Destructive Strike there, I think. He goes after the Lictor Alpha, actually. There's double Dreadnoughts now for Commissar Lag. Both of them with Assault Cannons in the end. Lictor Alpha gets murdered by the Chaos Lord. Korn is very, very pleased. Hosta side there. Up to level 4 now, this fella. 158 to 477, a single cap for the red team. Have a, have a big VP lead as well, Inquisitor Lord only has a plasma cannon. I didn't actually see Inquisitor's Dreadnought go down. I'm not, I don't see the remains of it anywhere. I guess it was in that big fight, I didn't see it. Focused on other things. We have a Power Fist Force Commander now with the Sacred Standard. So this guy's also a big problem. Sacred Standard passively buffs nearby allies. If it was closer to that last cannon, it would be buffing it. I guess they could throw for the Emperor on it, maybe. Lots of last cannon shots. Trying to get flesh over steel, I think. Trying. Rippers helping to slow down the Dreadnought. But the Force Commander might actually die if they focus him. I didn't focus him. Here comes a Tyrant Guard. Trying to help out a bit, which was nice of him. Is that a plasma gun? It is a plasma gun. Tap Marine Squad for Commissar Lag. Down goes that Tyrant Guard. They don't like plasma guns either, Tyrant Guards, nor do the Venom Broods. Dead Todes Knopf did replace the Venom Brood. Raptors on the way for now for James Nunes. Whirlwind for Inquisitor Lord, and they have Devastators up. Taking him to the mid, I guess. It's uncapped here. Uh oh, last cannon devs are going to wipe, they do wipe, these dreadnoughts getting some work done, look at this, alongside that, those plasma attacks and a plasma tech marine as well, level 5 this fella. Scouts now on the way for Commissar to help with repairs and stuff I imagine, there's tier 3 for Unseen, Jim Beam already in tier 3. 
And Inquisitor Lord gets another Dreadnought. Tech Marine bringing out the the heavy weapons and armor and stuff. It's cool. Tech Marine runs away and makes it. Whirlwind goes mid, I guess. Oh, not yet. Because Formagant's got a decap and actually a cap on this natural VP. That's what the Whirlwind does. Really good disruption. Not the most reliable disruption because it doesn't have fantastic accuracy, but it covers a large area. It's typically typically going to hit something. You can also get a Hunter Killer Missile upgrade on it to get a big powerful shot on a large target. Level 3 Dreadnought here for Commissar Lag getting some repairs from the scouts and the Tech Marine. The Tech Marine also has Blessing of the Omnissiah Global of course which repairs all allied vehicles on the map. It's pretty damn cool in a team game. Gemez Nunez calling for help saying that there's three players here. Are there? I think it's only Unseen and Dead Todes can help. Jim Beam is yeah, he's, he's towards the north. That was Malignant Blindness from the Chaos Lord. So it's a 2v2 fight here. Is that double plasma? No, it's plasma and stone guard for Unseen. Sergeant died pretty quick there. It's double Venom Brood for Dead Todes Knop. Raptors with their aspiring champion. Suppressing on landing there. Yeah, it was just a bad fight. A bad fight for the red team. These well-supported assault cannon dreadnoughts are a big problem. We've seen it in a, in a few games now. In a few 3v3s. Assault cannons are deadly. 118 to 475. We also saw them take a, uh, a friendly fire hit a few seconds ago from that plasma cannon. Down goes the Chaos Lord. These tactical marines in trouble though. Having to run. Might get a full bash here. 118 to 475. Blue team. All go tier 3. Jim Beam does have a Swarm Lord on the field. And the Assault Cannon Dreads aren't going to do much against this guy. He has vehicle armor. Also provides a reinforcement and a movement speed synapse, which is pretty amazing. And there's Leech Essence to regain some health by draining it from nearby enemies. Pretty effective in melee as well, as you would expect. Going after those Mark of Zinc CSM for now. This Dreadnought needs to be careful. Kind of getting left behind this Chaos Dread. It's going to go down. Down it goes. Was that Flesh Over Steel? What was that? Oh. I don't know what that was. Why did he get all electrified there? Was it Flesh Over Steel? Where was it? No, it was over there. It was on Electro Shock Grubs, was it? I don't think so. I'm not sure what that was. 118 to 454. Maybe it was just part of the I'm blowing up now animation. There's a turret in the mid. It's going to be Swarm Lorded down. There's Flesh Over Steel on Inquisitor Lord's Dreadnought. Shut down by that Power Fist. And Vengeance Shroud Sturgard are there. Everything's being buffed by the Sacred Standard and down goes the Dreadnought. Whirlwind getting some decent shots in. Meanwhile, 118 to 439. Red team firing back pretty hard. Led by this Swarm Lord. Yeah, Todes Knopf surely wants that tier 3 next. Raptors jumping in. To a pretty tough spot because that was a Swarm Lord right there. Orbital Bombardment going in from Inquisitor Lord, I think. Who's down to a single unit, by the way. Just a Plasma Cannon remaining. The Whirlwind and the Dreadnought went down. Now has a Land Raider Redeemer on the way. Ben and Brood took a big hit from the Orbital, but they survived it. Not sure what these Termigans are up to. They are fleeing. Level 3 Termigans. Oh, they went down. That's going to free up some requisition for Death Todas Knopf. Bad game for me, says Inquisitor Lord. We all have him, buddy. It's not giving up, though. Land Raider Redeemer on the way. What are these Dreadnoughts doing? They're both level 4 now. And Dark Age of Technology on both of them for the plus 300 health. And, and better Inspiration. 35% damage on the Inspiration. They don't get Inspiration off Assault Cannon kills, though. Only melee kills. Because that would be insane. Big fight here. Oh, Imperial Abyss from James Nunes. 
Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wow. That was nasty. It wiped out something. I'm not sure what it was though. It was 12 red. I think that was Blade Flurry from the Swarm Lord there. Commissars use these dreadnoughts so well, keeping them just out of arm's reach or claw's reach. Ramirez, the Hive Tyrant, has had enough and goes sprinting into the back line. has got improved synapse up. And the tank of Unseen is chasing those dreadnoughts. Oh, but he's switching targets. Couple more of those shots and I'll get that dreadnought down. But here comes a Land Raider Redeemer. Blessing of the Omnissire is in to try and repair. And he couldn't finish it off. It survives. Land Raider does have a multi Melter on top. So you need to be careful if you're a tank about it getting too close. Provides a retreat point for your allied team. Also reinforcement and health regen. A big deal. You do, need, you do need to mark it as your retreat point though, which some players sometimes forget to do. CSM level 4 for Jammers, and there's two of them level 4. That's what they got at the moment though. Here comes some Plague Marines. Plague Marines are always good. Carnifex is beginning to march out though for the red team. That Swarm Lord's been awesome so far. Now it's going to have Carnifexes alongside it. Force Commander runs in. Level 6 this guy. Could get Flesh Over Steel on the Land Raider here. But prefers prefers to go after the, the CSM instead. Needs to be careful. Kills one. They are going to reinforce off the Land Raider, of course. Are they going to get him? They do get him. It does mean the Sacred Standard constantly buffs for 40% now. But if they can get the Flesh Over Steel, the Double Venom Broods and that tank on the Land Raider, they are going to take it down pretty fast. This is Ramirez, the Hive Tyrant, trying to revive. Nope, starts attacking the Chaos Lord now. Who gets him out of there. Level 10 Chaos Lord, this guy's a beast. Oh, but meets a Carnifex. No upgrades on it. But it's still a Carnifex. This one has the Venom Cannon. Terrifying anti-large target weapon. Bad news for that Land Raider. Meanwhile, Jim Beam continues to try and pressure this VP, but that Swarm Lord is low. There is a turret here now too. They're all reinforcing off the Swarm Lord, which means Jim Beam has no requisition whatsoever. But I think they're going to get away. This is now a Strangled Fawn Cannon Carnifex. It does damage the vehicles, but also does that. Suppression and big anti-infantry damage. I think they're going to get this Land Raider right here. Down it goes. Venom Cannon putting in a lot of damage. Also the tank getting the finishing hit there. Oh, but can they get the tank now? Plague Marines going after it. They're getting suppressed, but they... Yeah, they operate quite well under suppression, Plague Marines. They don't get slowed down as much. And they can still fire their weapons at the same rate, which is why they got that kill. Double Dreadnought still going though. Last Cannon gets a shot on a Swarm Lord, needs to back off to base, I think. Devastators on the way for Commissar Lag, most likely with a Last Cannon. Another Last Cannon to help against these monstrous creatures, which all have vehicle armor. Red Team taking the mid. Strangled Thorn Cannon can't suppress the Chaos Lord, just pierces him off more. But he can't stop the cap. Not even this level 10 beastly Chaos Lord can. Gets knocked over by the Plasma Cannon too. Level 4, Ramirez, the Hive Tyrant. Gets on him. Shield's going to go down in a second. There it goes. And they, all of them together, get rid of it. Scouts on constant repair duty. Where's the actual Tech Marine? Oh. More turrets? Is that turrets or is that... That's Artificer Armor Mines going up. Which could do some work, although if, if the Venom Brood are around, they're going to spot those mines. But that will help against Hormagaunt trying to get sneaky decaps. Unseen with another tank on the way. Kicking off in the mid. 71 VPs remaining for the blue team. Last Cannon's getting shots. There's a Torana formation though. 
Another whirlwind is up as well. Oh, Chaos Terminators being very aggressive. Almost got that plasma cannon devastator squad down. Tactical Marines need to be careful. Yeah, maybe they should have took the garrison as tax. Force Commander goes after the Chaos Lord, but has to run. Might go down. Does go down. Should get easily revived from there. Although the Lictor Alpha is also down. Maybe they should get Menacing Visage. No. Isn't that the Chaos Lord thing? Terrify. The thing that gives them Terrify, whatever that is. To make some stuff retreat, like these Markazine CSM, for example. Force Quan is level 6. Lictor Alpha is level 5. Hive Tyrant level 4. Blue team have the 2 to 1. Can they, by any chance, get a decap over here? Jim Beam seems wary of it, bringing back the monstrous creatures to guard it. The Swarm Lord is still around. There, Todes Knopf with a Zone Throat to help heal up the fine effects, maybe. It can use the Symbiosis, I think it's called. Another land at Raider Redeemer for Inquisitor Lord. Keep it a bit further back, maybe. And it should do good. Like where this whirlwind is, basically. The Hive Tyrant goes for the decap. Maybe we'll see the bonded exoskeleton for this guy to help do this. Or maybe just throw up the uh, warp field. Can he get a decap there, though? Because those dreadnoughts are painful. There's a zone throat for Jim Beam. And here's one now for Der Todes Knopf. And there is the symbiosis healing up that Khan effects now. They can last cannon shots though. They took a last cannon shot. Look at this cheeky tech marine from the Inquisitor Lord. Trying to decap this wreck point that's right next to this VP. Couldn't get it done. I have a nuke soon, says James uh, Nunes. And yeah, it's tons of power. Land Red Redeemer is up. Surely Inquisitor Lord should be purchasing something else immediately. Maybe they're waiting for Terminators or something. They want some red. Unseen. At 999 red, capped out. So we could see an orbital on the next push or something, if they even want to push. I guess they have to, they need to get this VP back. Kind of surprised they aren't, I think they're wary of these last cannons. There's two last cannons, and those plague marines, and we have auto cannon terminators now. Because of the Lord with a predator tank. Lictor Alpha gets the decap under infiltration, does go down. But I think that was well worth it. There's the orbital I was talking about. And if those dreadnoughts don't move, yeah, they need to move a bit. That's going to hurt. An orbital right back at them, though, on the left side of your screen. That might kill that zone throat. Oh, now it's retreating. It might, it might save it. Did not save it. Super did not save it. Red team are pushing, though. Swarm Lord's in there, doing a hell of a lot of heavy lifting, now goes after the Land Raider. Is that a new Thornback Carnifex from their Todes Knopf? No, it's, a, it's an unupgraded Carnifex. Here comes the Venom Cannon one. They got the Land Raider pretty low, but Swarm Lord has to get out. Took too much damage, did a lot of work though, and facilitates the cap here because the Hive Tyrant has bonded Exoskeleton for the invulnerability. 58 to 296. Former Gaunt's level 4 being absolutely roasted by the Land Raider Redeemer. They're reinforcing off the Swarm Loco. Terminators on the field for Unseen, but they do not go for Assault Terminators. Got some regular Terminators. Look like Sync Kill. Taking down the Tech Marine in delightful fashion there, the Carn Effects. No upgrades for this thing still. 41 to 296. Can the blue team hold on? They've got the mid back, I think. There's a corner formation. Set up by some a nice plasma cannon shot, I think. Stops the cap, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Imperial Abyss from Jamez Nunes. Almost took out his own Plague Marines. Not sure why the zone threat was so far forward, but it does get away somehow. 
Oh, something died in there. Something got pulled in and died. That must have been a Devastator, I think. 12 red. 12 red is Devastators. Tank makes it out. With 37 hit points, makes it out. Look at this. Sneaky scouts from Commissar Lag. Get the decap here. It's a one-to-one -one cap. And they're getting a plasma cannon as well. All three of those heroes are down, though. Oh, no. Did Unseen get a sound bug? Is Unseen out of the game right now? That's massively unfortunate. If that's the case. I see SB in the chat there. What is that blue buff they're getting? I have no idea what that is. Look at this blue buff. What is this? Oh, it's this. It's Defend. Trying to cap is that Force Commander. Might be controlled by AI at this point. I have no idea. But they get the cap. Need to get their natural back though. What is this? Those are idle tactical marines. The AI typically doesn't leave things idle, I think. So this could well be unseen in control really need to get the natural back though Lick to Alpha is going after the blue team's natural 39 to 270 on the VPs Land Raider Redeemer getting a bit too close I think he's taking big shots here look at the resources Inquisitor Lord has we need to buy some stuff buddy Force Commander did fall by the way Terminator taking some big hits as well Jim Beam with a zone throat on the way. Those guys with a bit of a suicide teleport there. Maybe this is the AI now. That was a very strange teleport. Red team are getting their natural back. And the Lictor Alpha went down trying to get the blue team's natural, I think. Double cap for blue team. Maybe they've done enough here. Down goes that tank. Sneaky scouts. Being very, very sneaky. Venom Brooder on the VP again. The grenade hits nothing. Another Carnifex on the way for Dead Todes Knopf. Inquisitor Lord continues to not spend their resources. They must want Terminators or something. In one more raid, I think. Lots of repairs going on back there. I feel like Jim Beam just needs to go... If they just went with their Swarm Lord and stuff to get that VP. Tried to drag the blue team away from the mid. There are turrets here, as you can see. But the Swarm Lord won't care about those. Commissar Lag still has one of their Dreadnoughts, which is awesome. Chaos Lord's been level 10 for ages, I feel like. Swarm Lord stops fighting him for some reason. I'm not sure why they're backing off there. Chaos Lord might die. I think they judged it well. 39 to 172. Unseen idle at base there. Those guys capping some power. They don't really need power right now. I'm pretty sure that is the AI. Un very unfortunate. Swarm Lord getting stuck in. Taking out the plasma cannon devs. Where is Ramirez? Ramirez idle at base right now. He needs to be out there. Is that a Venom Brute being called in? Oh, so without number. Dreadnought goes down. Carnifex also very, very low. Goes down. And nothing is capping. There's Malignant Blindness again, I believe. Plasma Cannon doing so much damage here. Great Unking one on the way for Gamez Nunez. That's a pretty good Bioplasma shot. Land at Raider Redeemer is quite low. And is not being repaired. 
Melter Gun Tech Marine trying to focus down this Carnifex, but it is being it is being healed by the Zone Throp, and down goes the Land Raider. A little bit sloppy there from Inquisitor Lord. Should have been more careful with that guy. And it did indeed get Terminators up, by the way. Ramirez, the Hive Tyrant, here to cap, though. Level 7. Double cap for blue, you know. 39 to 94. They have both the naturals. These scouts are being very sneaky. And the red team are being really bad at keeping those things capped. The Inquisitor Laws Terminators take out the Venom Brood. Jim Beam and their Todas Knop might have might be out of it here. They're playing, I mean they're playing with the AI, I think. It's very unfortunate. I am gonna keep casting, because it happened quite late on. But uh, I really would prefer if players didn't send in games where there's a sound bug drop. I mean, they might not have known. They might not have noticed the message. It's entirely possible. I almost didn't notice the message. One to one cap here. Carnifex is down, and their Todes Knopf is down to zero units. Here's a great unclean one now. Passively damages nearby enemies, unfortunately. Oh, he does have some heretics to help out the big fella. Hive Tyrant back on the mid. But the two Tyranid players have no units whatsoever. And the full squad is being very strange. They got their natural back, the red team, but I'm not sure for how long. The scouts are going after it again, thanks to Commissar Lag. Corona formation. Inquisitor Lord drops in a venerable dreadnought for good measure. Blue team surely have this now. Commissar Lag. Uh, not showing very good manners. Especially since you're trash talking against AI here, buddy. Come on now, Commissar Lag. Come on now, you're better than this. Thirty-nine to thirteen, triple cap for the blue team. Sorry for the drop. See, Jamez Nunes knew that it was a drop, and there you have it. Some bad man is in the chat. Come on, so lag. Maybe he was having a bad day. I don't know, but uh, nothing wrong in my opinion with flesh hooking a scout sergeant. It's a flesh hook. You can target whatever you want with it. It's ridiculous to suggest you, you shouldn't be able to do that. Tech Marines level 8 for Inquisitor Lord, Commissar Lags level 10 with that Melter Gun doing outrageous amounts of damage. And those two Dreadnoughts were awesome. Did lose them by the end. Level 10 Chaos Law for Jamis Dinners. I believe this, this guy was level 10 for like 20 minutes, it felt like. Unseen, the AI uh, decided to get a Terminator Force Commander at the end because they just buy things at random, it seems like. The Lictor Alpha were level 6 and a level 8 Hive Tyrant. There you have it guys, sorry for bringing you a game with a drop, but I didn't know until until it happened and we were kind of 20 minutes in or something at that point. So I carried on, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.